It used to be said that AI will take over 50% of the jobs that we do by the middle of this century. However, developments in AI have risen so exponentially that it is now estimated that some 90% of jobs will be taken over by AI during the lifetime of our children. The social effect of such high unemployment and the psychological dangers of this can be expected to vary from individual depression to breakdowns in social order, as we discuss in our book, The Real Dangers of AI. The purpose of this book is to consider the real purpose of school, why it is consistently criticised for failing to better educate our children, and how we could bring such changes to this institution that we would better prepare our children for a world that will essentially have no jobs. Teachers find it hard enough now to motivate their students to give their effort to learning. When students understand they will be most unlikely to ever work, a whole new approach must be invented by the school to gain the cooperation of its students to the learning tasks they will set them. Instead of thinking of individual gain through selected employment, the student of education must learn to think of collective harmony under the dominating presence of an omnipresent artificial intelligence. After all, this will be the real world they will live in as we may expect the future to unravel. If the purpose of school were only to educate children to competently enter the job market, then its purpose must be radically revised. For in the AI-dominated world our children must learn to survive in, the most sought-after ability will be a high reasoning capability to maintain greater hope of harmony in the society. Thus schools must stop teaching to the test and learn how to develop individually higher reasoning skills in all of their students. The following video will expand upon this need. Hello, my name is Roy Anderson. Ever since the time of the Industrial Revolution, we lived in a processing world. The child is processed in school, and the citizen is processed throughout their life, all to a common aim. This is a smooth running of an ordered society. However, our technology is changing very fast, and the problems caused by global warming, increasing populations, people living longer, possible food shortages, and mass movements of people may drastically disrupt our ordered societies. If this occurs, the concept of democracy, which we take for granted, may well come into question. The dangers our children will face in their future are so real. I wrote books to discuss this. In these books, I explain why you can never know the intelligence of a human being. It is because we think that the intelligence of an individual can be known that we are so easily processed from infancy to retirement. I've even developed a new concept of what intelligence is to show why our understanding of intelligence is wrong. The whole point of this is explained in my latest book, where I try to awaken all people to how artificial intelligence is going to reshape the world our children. Will live in. If we do not change the ways we educate children, as adults and so citizens, they will lack the intellectual and behavioural ability to live at the level of harmony their artificial intelligence controlled world will and must demand of them. We only have to look at the social decay in our societies now to realise how control by artificial intelligence is becoming increasingly necessary to protect the individual. We hear from many sources that we are facing a global crisis. But there are very few who really understand how technology can at first devastate our social orders and then resurrect these with an entirely new and not all too welcoming identity. I explain this all in my latest book. And so offer a new curriculum and a new way of teaching to help both educationists and parents in their struggles to give all children a better chance in the future they will face.